You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Excited to play with some Orbeez today in my slime. Look, I have the purple 400 count, the red, and this tealish color. And I do want to say thanks to Maya Group for sending me these Orbeez. I told them that I had a plan for them, and here it is. I'm going to take ordinary water, turn it into slime, and add colorful Orbeez for some slime fun so the will it slime title by the way came from will it blend i don't know if you're familiar with that it was the blend tech blenders a long time ago were the first ones really to come up with that concept and i only mention that because i did a video where i took here i'm pouring water and usually about a half a cup sometimes a little more sometimes a little less I took slime and I put it in a blend tech blender and uh, my blender started smoking in that video if you hadn't seen it and uh, well let me finish showing you this now I use a Dunecraft product called gobbledygook okay that's what this is they sent me a larger quantity so I don't have to keep getting it retail but you can buy it retail that's what I did for the first three videos and I put a little bit of that in and mix up and then it turns this into a nice slime just like their gobbledygook so if you want to learn more about it I put a link in the description there all right this keeps lumps out of it so where was I blend tech blender oh I got a I got an actual email from a blend tech representative when they saw my blender start to smoke they saw the video they emailed me and wanted to know if I was interested in having any kind of warranty service or have the blender checked out to see if everything was okay. So after three or four emails, I'll just use this one here, back and forth, they gave me some things to test and it seems like the blender is just fine. They said, everything's good. So I said, cool. I didn't destroy my Blendtec blender. So now I'm doing a little bit in each. And you will see how this is going to change. I'm sure at the end, it already has changed. Watch, see? That's water. Now, I've had quite a few requests for water. But, see, I know water is going to slime. Because this gobbledygook works good with any kind of liquid. So I titled the title just because it's consistent with every video. Will it, will it, will it, will it slime? So I originally got that from Blendtec with their Will It Blend. Maybe I'll put a link in the description for you so you can go check out that series. That's pretty cool. They blend all kinds of different things in that blender. Except slime. Maybe they'll do slime now that I did it. All right, so these are all set for step one. Now I'm gonna add a little bit more water. So I have lots of slime to play with. Never fear, we have extra water here. And then I'm going to add a little bit more powder. So yeah, if you're curious about the powder, look in the description. If you're curious about the Orbeez, well, we all know Orbeez are from the Maya group, so they have been around for quite a while, too. And if you're curious about Will It Blend, I will put a link there as well. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Ooh, it's going to make a mess, so I have a nice big sheet of glass. I actually have to take the sheet of glass and put it in my stand-up shower to wash it. Just hot water and it comes right off. So the only hard part is just carrying the sheet of glass, but it's worth it. Okay, now I have a decent consistency. Now people have asked about the consistency too. Yes, I could turn this almost to like a putty, but to me, then it would be will it putty, not will it slime. Slime to me is just sticky and slimy and goopy like you know it's got that kind of consistency all right i think we're good all right it's time to put in my orbeez yes okay so i try to get it to a consistency that will pull away you'll see on the table so it's not a putty here we go so let's check these out it's for ages five plus I can't read it. For use with Orbeez brand products. Okay, do not eat. All right. Ooh, I was thought I was going to say do not slime. So this twists off. 
There's a little pull cap on there. Let's see. Orbeez. Ooh. I just want to put some in my... Here, let me put some in here just to... Before I slime them just to see how they pour out. Oh, very cool. So let's do about a quarter of this. I will need the rest of these for another video that I have planned. Okay, let them hang out there. Pretty cool. Let's do the next one. I'll do the same thing, about a quarter. This time I'll go directly in. But I do want to see something. Oh yeah, it looks like they're going to stick in there really good. Let's get this to about the same, just underneath that purple strip. Don't you think that was cool of Blendtec Blenders to send me an email making sure my blender was okay? I thought that was pretty neat of them. And here we go, the last color. Okay, so we will not need these anymore. I need to make a little room here. And then I am going to come back. I do want to get set here just a little bit with my camera. I got to change the angle now that this part of the video is set, but look at that. All right, no more playing till I come back. I will be right back. All right, so I have just done a camera change. Now let me move two out of the way so I can wait on those. And I just want to show you the first one because from this point on, it's hard for me to move the camera much. I'll have to do some camera changes. Anytime you see something like this, it's just because the powder ended up being lumpy. It's very hard to get that out. Let's get that out of here. This way we have nice clean slime. And this is kind of the consistency I like, so here we go. I like it so watch when you pick it up, I can actually pick it up pretty much all off the tabletop. So that to me is slime. That's why I don't make it any thicker than this. And that is cool. Look at that. All right. That is color number one. Let's set that off to the side. Color number two. Let's do this one. Oh, wait. Get back in here. Let's get them connected. Isn't that cool looking? I'll have to go find those two that tried to get away from me. Here's one over here. Then one way up here. Did you see that one? Do do do. Get back over here. Okay. So I do get uh, comments that uh, I don't know why you do this, you know, it's uh, weird and all that stuff. I do it because, uh, for one, I like it. So if you like doing something and you have fun with it, then you should continue doing it, right? As long as it's not harming anybody or anything. And then this is the last one. A lot has to do with sounds too. So. The reason I make these videos is because you get a lot of cool sounds and a lot of people like to listen with headphones and they hear it. So that's why I stop talking at some point in these videos and I just continue playing. Alright, last color. Okay, I got one stray. It's reminding me of something. Look at that. Okay, so I will be able to make a camera change. I have to put a paper towel like this, I will show you, over my hand like this so that I can adjust my camera and tripod. So that's what I need to prepare. That's why I can change an angle like this because there's nothing worse than getting slime on your camera. I think it's so cool. It's like a the little beads of Orbeez and at some point of course I'm gonna mix this I just haven't decided when 
I kind of like the color combination. Let's just slide it all over though. Here, I'll show you. I'm lifting it up way up here. So slowly starting to join together. All right. Now it's time. All right. So again, let me recap here before I just go into mixing and playing. I will have a link to the Blendtec Will It Blend. That to me, as I know it, is the first Will It YouTube series before anybody else. So let's give them full credit. And I will have a link to the Maya Group for their Orbeez. And I have a link to Dunecraft for their product. And thanks to everybody who supports Lucky Penny Shop. And if you want to see the other slime videos, look in that description. I'll have a playlist link there. And here we go. And thanks for watching.
If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.